Hi, my name is Steve Cavallaris, and thank you very much for watching this episode of electricaltime.com. Back on our website, please click up here to buy your National Electrical Code Book and other great books, tools, and equipment that we have on our website. Also, back on our website, if you can click down here to subscribe to the newsletter to get free videos and articles. When you subscribe to our newsletter, we really appreciate it. And also, if you're watching this video on YouTube, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It really means a lot to us. Thank you very much. Okay, here we go. A homeowner installed a 60 amp sub panel in his shed and buried PVC conduit six inches deep in the earth for the run. You as the inspector have failed the job. What is the minimum burial depth of the PVC to the top of the PVC conduit in the earth? All right, so first question we're going to ask ourselves is what article are we talking about here? And that's going to be article 300, and I'll write that down. 300 is called General Requirements for Wiring Methods and Materials. And one of the most important tables in the entire code book is table 300.5, and I'll write that down. It says table 300.5. Hopefully you have tabs in your code book, and that's one of the tabs, and that's a very important table. And it's titled Minimum Cover Requirements, 0 to 1,000 volts, nominal, burial in millimeters and inches. And we're talking about inches in our example. Okay. So let's go to our code books together and take a look at table 300.5. And if you do not have your code book, please go back to our website, electricaltime.com. And on top, you'll see a link where you can by your National Electrical Code Book. Really important. All right, so we're looking at table 300.5, and we're looking at column three. And that says, non-metallic raceways listed for direct burial without concrete encasement or other approved raceways. So we got to find out which column we're talking about. That's number one. Then we're going to look at the rows. And the first row talks about all locations not specified below. And it says 18 inches. And you know what? I'm just going to jot down that number over here. So if I'm taking an exam and I'm reading that, okay, 18 inches. Okay, so let's continue. Look at the next row. It says entrench below two inch thick concrete or equivalent. And that's not the case here. Then we got under a building, and that says zero inches, and that's not the case here either. Next one says under minimum of four inches thick concrete exterior slab with no vehicular traffic and the slab extending not less than six inches beyond the underground installation. In that case, we can have our burial depth of four inches, but that's not the case either. Next is going to be under streets, highways, roads, alleys, driveways, and parking lots. And that's going to be 24 inches, and that's not the case. Next one's going to be one and two family dwelling driveways and outdoor parking areas and used only for dwelling related purposes. Now, where they have the conduit here, is it possible that somebody could park a car there? Yeah, sure, absolutely. You know, it looks like that distance between the house and the shed, you know, is probably about a good 15 feet, maybe 20 feet apart. So sure, somebody could park a car there. And again, this is a, a dwelling related uh, property. And the next one here is in or under airport runways, including adjacent areas where trespassing prohibited. So doesn't look like that's an airport runway to me or anything like that. But if that were the case, that's only 18 inches. So it looks to me like 18 inches is the correct answer on this one. And I want to make a very important point. When you're measuring for this minimum cover, you are measuring from final grade to the top of that PVC. You are not measuring from final grade to the bottom of the trench. 
And that's where I see a lot of people make mistakes. You call the excavator and you tell them, okay, we need to make this trench 18 inches deep. And guess what? The excavator makes it 18 inches deep. Now you put your conduit there and let's say you're, you have two inch conduit and let's say the outside dimension is going to be two and a quarter inches or whatever that is. You do not have 18 inches right now. You have less than 18 inches. So take that into account. Maybe go down another couple of inches. It's not going to hurt you. And you know what? When the electrical inspector gets there and in some jurisdictions, the authority having jurisdiction will have to take a look at that too. That's part of the requirements. But again, check with your local jurisdiction on that. Make sure that your local building inspector, the AHJ, whether that person has to come out there or not to witness the burial depth. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this question and we will see you on the next one.